Hello again. And this time I have the third wave of the Superpowers collection with some rare figures right here. Now the the thing about this line I didn't like about the third wave is some of the made up characters. What I don't understand is that why out of all the popular characters they could have chosen, they had to make up their own, which I'm about to get into once once I get into the figures right now. Starting on the left over here, we have Shazam, or if you want to call him Captain Marvel. Man, man, I like this figure right here. Very nicely sculpted. When you squeeze his legs, throw his power action punch. And you see with his cape right there. And I want to let you know that he's harder to find with his cape. In fact, he's very expensive with or without his cape on eBay. On eBay, say a mint figure without his cape, $100. With his cape, two to $300. And we have Cyborg, which is a much rarer figure. He was the last one to be made in this line when this line was canceled. This back in 1999, I paid $150 for this figure. Nowadays, this figure goes for eight to nine hundred dollars completed. And as you see in the back of him, we'll try to get to so you see his hand attachments. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. Right there. And it was a beautifully made figure. And now let's get into Golden Pharaoh. One of the characters that was made up for this line. Over a bad girl, you gonna pick somebody like Golden Pharaoh? <laughs> but anyway, over the years this figure did grow on me. When you squeeze his legs, he throw up his wings, holding his staff. And with his staff, he's harder to find. The staff alone goes for like a hundred bucks. Without the staff, the figure hundred bucks completed two to three hundred dollars. And we have here a plastic man. When you squeeze his arm, his head pops up. And, and you can also spin around his torso, move it around a little bit. That's about it. And we have here Samurai. Now this character was made for the 1977 Super Friends figure with characters like Black Vulcan, Apache Chief, and El Dorado. And he have his, his sword right here, which is harder to find. Right here, this this is a rep, reproduction sword. Until I'm able to get find the actual one, which is a little expensive. And you see, what his tunic is very expensive as well. Completed this figure goes for two hundred dollars. And when you squeeze squeeze his arm, his 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 body moves around like a tornado, just like with a red tornado in the second wave. And here's another character, which I'm not at all fond of, Cyclotron. When you, uh, when you, you gotta spin his, his torso around, and when you squeeze his leg, his body moves like a tornado. I don't know. <laughs> and his faceplate is harder to find. On eBay, completed, he's like, goes for a hundred bucks. And we have here Mr. Miracle, the world's greatest escape artist. And when you squeeze his leg, he move out his shackles. This figure completed goes for about 300 bucks. Yes, his cape is harder to find with his shackles. Very hard to find. Shackles alone I've seen on eBay go for 100 bucks, which is ridiculous. And we have Orion. 
and when you squeeze his, squeeze his legs, his face changes to an angry look. Very nicely sculpted. And this figure goes for 70, 80 bucks on eBay. And we have here Mr. Freeze. There with his helmet right there. And when you squeeze his legs, his arms move along with the little guns on right on his body right there. And he's harder to find with his with his helmet. This figure completes about 150 bucks. And we have Tyr. He was he was made for the Legions of Superheroes comic book. I thought it was a made up character at first until I did some research. Not really a fan of this figure right here. And this figure right here was only a mail away. Clark Kent. He was a mail away during the second wave. When you put in several proof, proof of purchases. And you send in and you get this guy right here. He was supposed rumored to be for a fourth wave if the line continued. But it never did. So he's the only figure that never had been on any kind of package. Which makes him pretty rare. Goes for about 80 to 100 bucks. And we have here, right here, this figure was only released in Argentina. The Riddler was only Argentina exclusive. And as you see, about <laughs> the weird thing about this figure, his mold was taken from the Green Lantern figure. As you can tell from like the mask and the hair. And his arms and legs are like a different color from his torso for some unknown reason. And his belt was painted on him. And this figure is harder to find. I've seen a, a make edition like this one goes for about 600, 600 bucks. And another thing about the third wave right here, these excluding the Clark Kent and Riddler figure, they never came with a comic book. When it, I guess. Kenner was ready to um, cancel the third wave. The reason I figured this line was canceled because it was costing too much money to make, especially with the moving mechanisms and all of them. And they never even came with a comic book. So there you have it. The third wave of the superpowers collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. And you have a great one.